What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, it's really Shar, and I am back with another video. If it's your first time watching, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you are already subscribed, welcome back, y'all. I know y'all can see up from the title what we're gonna be doing. So basically, it's just like a little vlog for today. Today is uh Vlogtober. In my last video, y'all gonna hear me say Vlogmas. I be getting confused, but it's Vlogtober day three. Y'all, it is Sunday and yesterday I went out and all that stuff, y'all. Y'all gonna see that vlog or whatever before y'all see this one. Yeah, but I had an amazing time. So today I'm about to cook um, my family Sunday dinner, which is we cooking pork chops, um, dirty rice, pork chops and dirty rice. Um, I might make some homemade garlic bread. I don't know. I got some Texas toast that I got from Walmart. Some Texas toast bread. Uh oh, it looks smashed. Y'all gotta hear me do something with this. This bread is expensive. I got this Texas toast bread, and I got I got some uh, garlic butter spread that I might put on it and put it in the oven and let it cook or whatever. So that's what I'm making today, y'all. I already got my stuff prepped. I got my uh, red peppers, yellow peppers, and orange, and my onions. These are the seasons that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use this is pepper, um, seasoning salt, onion powder, a little paprika for the color garlic powder and some slap your mama yeah i'm just not getting into them so the slap your mama i always been wanting to use slap your mama but never got a chance to use it but i've been using it lately for the past like week or so and i absolutely love it it's it's okay it ain't what i expected like i gotta say i absolutely love it like that it ain't just what i expected to be like the flavor like accent if y'all know about accent seasoning y'all know what i'm talking about i thought it was like a flavor enhancer a flavor booster it's just like another seasoning salt to me basically like just a spicy seasoning that's all it is it's a cajun seasoning y'all a lot of y'all probably already know i don't know so like this is my first time really using it y'all like i see it i use it a couple times like on some what i use it on some chicken and that was it i think i don't know yeah but i got the pork chops right here i'm about to season those up and then i got my grease right here frying in the uh, deep fryer y'all so I already got everything prepped, so all I gotta do now is just put the stuff on. So let me turn this grease down so because it's popping. Yeah. I don't know. Do y'all wanna see me do all this? I already prepped it, so I don't know if y'all wanna see me. Okay, y'all can watch me. I'm gonna start on the ground beef first. Or should I start? Now I'm gonna start on the pork chops. Since the grease is already hot. Let me open this so y'all can see. Y'all, this is my cooking video. I am doing it how I like to do it. I mean, like, it ain't a, just a whole cooking video. It's a vlog, too, so. I'm a, I don't know how to set y'all. Y'all will be able to see like this a little bit, won't y'all? Sideways or something? Okay. Like that. Okay. That's good enough. Okay, so... I got to get the seasons now. I don't know why I ain't put no flour in the pot. But I should put a little. I normally put mustard like in my chicken and in my pork chops and stuff. But I didn't get no mustard. So I'm going to go ahead first with the slap your mama. Yeah, don't be stingy with the seasoning. Make sure you season your food good enough so where you can taste the seasoning. And nothing all bland. You want to taste your seasoning. So that's the slap your mama. Let me put some of the water out. I hate when they do that, y'all. I like, I don't know what it be out. But, slap your mama, dead. I'm gonna put some Lori seasoning salt in there. Lori. Okay, it may, it may look like a lot, but it's not. So once I'm mush it all together. The little paprika that's in here, y'all, is literally a little in here. So, let's put the little bit that's in here. In there. Open this. It's literally just a pinch of paprika. Y'all hear the grease just popping? It's ready. She made me know she's ready. And this is the black pepper. Black pepper, black pepper, black pepper. Okay, and we're gonna go with a little garlic powder. A little bit that's in here. I need some for my eyes. 
Go on your powder. Y'all know, of course, we use onion powder and garlic powder and everything. Oh! I guess that's it. Yeah, I didn't know it was open like that. I thought the top was still on. So, basically just, you know, mush it around real good. Get it up in there. Get it in there. Get it in there. These portraits are going to be good. I already know. I already know. Anything I cook be fine. Anything. Okay. They smell good already. It be that onion powder for me. Like that onion powder and that garlic powder be smelling so good. Okay. It will look a little seasoned enough to y'all. Because to me it do. To me, to me. We're gonna mush around just a little bit more to make sure the seasoning get into every piece in every corner because we want every pork chops to be delicious, you know, tasty. So, this is that. What's that? All right, let me set y'all up here now. I'm about to get a bowl. I'm about to get a. Yeah, I don't know how to do cooking videos. I just be doing them. I'm about to get a bowl. Let me, can y'all see me? Okay. I'm about to get a bowl so I can put the flour in. Y'all, what y'all cooking? Today is Sunday. If y'all cook on Sundays, let me know what y'all be cooking. Because for me, we cook some of everything. We don't cook every Sunday, but we did want to make it like a... A traditional thing, but we never follow through with the stuff that we say we don't do. So I be trying to cook on most Sundays, like you know, make it a thing so I I know I'm gonna cook on that Sunday, especially if I already had the meat and stuff already cooking out. I just cook, you know, everything prepared, long kitchen plane, dishes wash, you know, you be ready to cook then, you know. Shout out to Kevin, cause you say I don't shout him out enough. Yeah, he wash the dishes so I can cook. <laughs> So, I'm not here. Remember. Alright, so, give me the flour now. That's the flour. I need a little bowl. I don't even need a real big bowl. This bowl right here. This bowl for the flour. Now, this uh, grease is popping. I got the little scoops too, y'all. This is so cool. Oh, okay. I don't know. Should I put some eggs in it to make it crunchy? But I ain't got my... That's how I have everything ready. I ain't got my own mustard. I ain't got my mustard. So I'm going to go ahead and start these so I can start on the ground beef for the rice. So, so that ain't going to take that long. Put this in here. Y'all like to cook. I don't know why I like to put my meat in the sink and like have my flour and stuff close to the sink because flour be getting so messy. Look at that. I already, I'm making a mess. But anyways, it's, I'm cooking. Yeah. I stopped that accent because my family was complaining. Like Kevin was complaining about it. And I know it's not healthy for you, but most seasons really not healthy for you. Like, Lori seasoning salt is really not healthy for you because all that sodium in there and people don't be understanding that like they have a lot of a lot of sodium too it ain't just uh like accent it's a lot of stuff that we really would have to cut back from so i don't know it's just it's just it's just the flavor we love flavor i can't eat no food if it ain't got no taste to it <laughs> especially just salt i don't even understand how people just cook with salt and pepper i can't do it i tried you know what? I'm going to do a video trying to cook like some pork chops and some chicken with only just salt and pepper and see how it tastes because I want to know because you know some people cook like this salt and pepper like what girl mm -mm. it's understandable like if you're doing like a flavored wing or something like that like if you're doing a hot wing or like uh, some wings that you put sauce on like you sauce in the wings but that's understandable like you can uh, do it that way then okay that's my clothes. You can do it that way then. 
Cause you just put sauce on it. And you don't want it to be too saucy when you cooking. I mean, when you done, whatever y'all. You don't want it to be too salty, but yeah. Okay, we got these pork chops in here. I gotta put one more. And now they allow me to put two per thing, which is good because I will only have to do it twice instead of, you know, constantly running back to the stove. Trying to flip it when the deep fryer is gonna do it all for you. You ain't gotta do too much with the deep fryer. That's why I love the deep fryer. Mm -mm. Yeah. So, I'm about to put this thing in there now. Which one? Huh. Yeah, my daughter coming in the But this is basically it right now. So this. I'm gonna show y'all once they go through here. Y'all can mess this camera up, and I literally just, just wash this camera off. That's the fact that you gotta stay washing your hands. I know some people go from dish to dish. Don't even wash their hands. I don't like that. That's why I like everybody cooking. I do not like everybody cooking. Some people don't know how to clean up. Some people don't know how to be clean the hair they feel, wash the proper. I don't I don't like it. You know? Gotta make sure everything is right. That's how a lot of people get sick and they don't know why they sick because they're not properly cleaning. Right. Okay, I'm put this back. I'm put this back. Put this back. Put this back. Put this back. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I'm dropping these, and then we're gonna go to the ground beef. Okay. Yeah, so basically these are the pork chops. Two in one. So we're gonna drop these in. Drop this one in. And y'all see. I'm gonna turn it up. Y'all think I should turn it up? I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit to 350. Cause I had it on for a minute before, you know. Before I uh Y'all are gonna see me in here. Cause we on the ground beef. So this is the ground beef. This shrimp pie is the truth. I'm loving it. So we gonna turn the um. Uh, why am I turning on the oven? We gonna turn the front eye to like right there because as y'all see, I don't have the numbers on there. So I already got the ground beef in there. Um, I'm gonna put a little seasoning first. Let me get my seasoning. I'm gonna use um, a little slap your mama. Like I said, I got used to using this. It's spicy. Did I tell y'all what I was making? I'm making dirty rice and pork chops. This is the Zetarans. I'm using this brand. Like I know I can make uh, dirty rice from scratch too. This bag on there. I can make dirty rice from scratch too, but I love this brand because it already comes seasoned. And all you gotta do is add your meat to it. So why not use that? Okay, go in with some Larry's. Make sure you season your meat. Okay, make sure you season your meat, honey. We're gonna go in with some onion powder. We don't need too much seasoning. Look, I keep forgetting I did it again, y'all. As y'all can see, I did it again. Again. Okay, that's it. Onion powder. We ain't got no more garlic powder, so we ain't gonna use no garlic powder. Now we got some black pepper. I'm gonna grab black pepper in there. And we're gonna let that. And then we're gonna use this. This spoon. This, Y'all, don't judge my spoon. This ain't normal cooker. This spoon is clean. It's clean as you can see. It's clean. It just looks like that. It's the color is changing, okay? So, the girl be in the kitchen cooking. People nowadays should just say anything. Oh, excuse me. 
I didn't see in the food neither. I turned my head. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dump all these in there in the pot. And I'm gonna let this stuff cook down. So now we're gonna let this cook down for a little minute. For a little minute, for a little minute, for a little minute, for a little minute. We don't take that long. Like this, literally, an easy process. You don't take that long to do this. I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did prep everything. Look at this piece of onion. I'm leaving it there just like that because I love onions. Okay, I love onions. So we're going to let that cook for a minute. We're going to let these pork chops cook. Look at them. We're going to let these cook. And then I'm going to sit down and chill until some of this stuff get like halfway done. First, I'm going to wash out my little pan. Wash that out. And I'm about to listen to a little music to some of this stuff get done. And then I'll come back on my adding the rice to the meat and when I'm changing out the well when the pork chops is halfway done so y'all gonna be back this is just a real quick cooking video it's not really in depth a real detailed video it's just it's something that y'all should already know how to cook and I know y'all probably already know, know how to cook it I'm just showing y'all the way I cook so yeah I'll be right back all right y'all so I'm back the pork chops are looking scrumptious Look at them. Oh my god. I'm looking scrumptious, scrumptious, delicious. So, I got my um, strainer already. As y'all can see, I put a little plate up under there. This will be the strainer, y'all. I gotta give me a new strainer. I literally need to go on Amazon or Walmart.com and give me a strainer. Because that one is so little. But I'm about to take these pork chops out. Look how they look. Just look at them. Don't play with her. It looks so good. It looks so good. I don't know if I want to just dump them in the thing. I don't think I'm finna. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm finna just dump them in. I'm finna just take it out with this fork. Take it out. Cause when I be dumping stuff, it gonna be, it be falling. So let me see. These are done. Let me get these two. Take these bad babies out. Y'all, these deep fryers are a lifesaver. Like, literally a lifesaver. You ain't got to stand over the stove, constantly keep flipping. That's why I had got it. You know, they was on sale. Uh-oh. They was on sale when I had got it, I think, for like $40 or $50. And they was, like, they was originally $100. And when I got it, they was on sale for like $50, if I ain't mistaken. Like $49.99 or $39.99. One of the two, but... I caught the cell, so yeah. And then, um, we about to put some more. We're gonna put the last few up in here. And then we're gonna um, strain the meat out a little bit on the ground beef so we can put the rice in the pot because I'm gonna leave a little bit of the grease in the pot so I don't want y'all to be like, why she ain't strain her, her grease out? Because with dirty rice, you have to have a little grease, okay? You have to have a, a little grease because that's why it's dirty rice. It's dirty, okay? It's dirty. But you gotta put, <laughs> but you leave a little grease in there for the extra flavoring too, cause you know that grease is flavoring. And yeah, I used to always, because I be trying to stay away from a lot of grease, cause I do have like GERD, 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 how you see it? Where you have like acid reflux real bad. So I be getting hard burns and stuff and I take these pills, petroprolazole, I can't pronounce that either, but I put it up on the screen. Um, I take those for heart burns and they've really been working so I ain't been having too much of a bad problem as long as I take them every day I'm fine but if I skip a day or two or something like that it literally take like two days for them really to like if I don't take it for like you didn't get a heart burn or something like that but other than that if I take them every day I'm fine I can eat all the hot stuff I want to eat but yeah I need to start getting away from that stuff too yeah I just cannot stop eating hot food spicy food I love it so yeah okay so it was really eight pork chops in here yep it was eight pork chops so we got these pork chops these last little four about to cook 
And then we like I said, we're gonna drain the grease off the meat a little bit. And we're gonna use that grease, add a little um see it back there just cooking. We're gonna add a little water to it and put the uh rice packets and stuff in there and let it cook down. And I'm gonna show y'all my finished product, but I'm still doing this right now. Look, get flour everywhere. This a big porch. That's the big porch right here. That's the healthy boy right there. That's the healthy, healthy boy. Okay. Who are like? Do y'all eat pork? Was it? Cause some people don't eat pork. Some people do. Like I don't eat as much pork as I used to. Like if I stay away from pork, that's with anybody. I know y'all know that. But if you stay away from pork so long and you finally try to eat it again, you get sick. But I don't eat that much pork, though. We don't eat that much pork. We just eat, like, pork chops probably once a month, if that. Sometimes we skip a month. We don't even have pork like that. Or we'll get some bacon or something like that. But we do love ham, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. We do love ham. We love some ham. But I try to stay stay away from it as much. Like, I don't want to eat it on a regular. Like, okay, I'm finna go eat, eat some ham today. Or I'm finna eat some bacon today. Or I'm finna eat this today. Like, I really love the stuff. Like, I love certain pork i don't like all pork like my mama she was raised up on like eating uh pig feet and you know pig ears and chitlins and all that stuff i don't eat that i don't eat it okay i don't eat none of that give me anything else but a pig feet and a hog mouth and all that i don't i don't don't i don't i don't bother me with it okay uh oh sorry but i do not mess around with that type of stuff do not blame that type of stuff to me so we finna set these ones in. And then let's go over here and put this. I'ma uh probably do that. Set y'all down again. I don't know y'all probably like where you got us all over the place. I'm about to uh see y'all see the meat. I'm about to drain it a little bit. Y'all real quick. Let me drain this. A little bit, and I'm coming on right back. I'm just draining this over here in this sink, just a little bit. If I get most of the grease out, but not too much. Not my meat trying to fall out the pot. Oh y'all, I need to get that to me a strainer. Okay. So we're gonna put this back on here. We're gonna stir this up a little bit. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Y'all see that meat? This smells so good too, y'all. Let me make sure y'all see this. I love it. This is the meat. Y'all be your friend still going down. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and then add the water. Look at my onions. No, put my onions back in here. We don't put it. My stove is clean, so I can put my stove back. Okay, this is how we look in the inside for the people that don't know. Look like that. It got the seasoning in there. I'm just gonna pour that in there. Look at the seasoning. That's the seasoning. These little chunks, that's the seasoning. I'm going to just fill this up with water instead of using the cup wasting dishes. I'm going to fill this up with water. Hot water to be exact. You don't want to put cold water on hot food. So I'm going to put some hot water in there. Fill this back up. I don't know if I want to put two boxes or one box. I might put two. Just pour that. And it helps get the extra you know, seasoning at the bottom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put two. Cause there's gonna be too much for me to finally put one. And put two boxes. So I'm put this box two. This up in there, y'all. I'm gonna put a little more water in here. You know, you need a cup for every box that you use. So it won't be all, you know, undone and squishy. So, yeah, yeah, I'm teaching y'all a technique. Y'all can use this as a cup. 
But some people are probably gonna get a cup and waste some dirty waste some dishes for no reason. I don't like wasting dishes, especially when the dishes are clean already. I do not like wasting dishes. And that's why I always need to clean up your hands. Some people don't like But yeah, we're gonna start this up, let these little chunks come in. Y'all see it as looking. There was a rice. Let those chunks come down. Let that chunks come down. Should I make garlic bread, y'all? Y'all think I should make some garlic bread? I think I should. What y'all think? I'm gonna get this garlic bread real quick because that garlic is really good. I'm gonna show y'all real quick. The spread that I got them. Okay. Not the pan for it, so I'm gonna make some. Yeah, this is the spread. I got this garlic spread. It's big. I know it's big, but this thing costs seventeen dollars, eighteen dollars to be exact, because it was seventeen ninety nine. But I got this from um, Walmart, y'all. So this is good for like uh, garlic breads, uh, just different stuff. Even if you're making a a garlic burger or something like a homemade garlic burger, you can put it on your bun, put your bun, y'all. I messed up my, I messed up my robe. I just put this on, but you can make that with your um. Yeah, with your, uh, what am I saying, y'all? Um, yeah. My words won't come out. But you can do that with your, uh, I still can't use that. Like your burgers, your steaks. I would use this because it literally have, it's how I look at the inside. When I say this is a bomb, um, it's bomb. Um, it give me like a butter, one of those butter threads. I'm going to take this much. One of these ribs, and I'ma rub it across. I want it nice, 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 and buttery, and you know, toasty. Should I do both sides or just one side? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna do both sides. Y'all yeah, think? No, I'm gonna do one side. That's gonna be too messy. I'm just do one side. That's how I look. Garlic bread, y'all. So, I'm going to make probably four. And I'm going to make five. To be on the safe side. And if anybody wants some more, we can always, you know, make more. But for right now, we just going to make the ones that we're going to eat right now. So, they won't get hard later or cold, you know, because you, you want hot garlic bread. So, yeah. It's gonna be good. Yeah, don't be stealing my recipes. <laughs> don't be stealing my recipes. But this is it. Okay. And then I'm gonna do this one. Like I said, I'm gonna do five of these. And then we're gonna put that junk in the oven. Yeah, so once I get done with this and everything is done, I'll get back on here and show y'all the finished product. All right, y'all, so I just had to get back on here to show y'all how it looks before the oven. Look good, y'all. Right? Look good. So we're going to set the stove to 350. Hope y'all can see it focusing. Focus, girl. Focus. There you go. So it's on 350. Make sure it's on 350. And then we're going to put these things in the oven. Put them in the oven, and then we'll be back. Y'all talk about my little my oven needs to be clean really. Anyways. All right, y'all. So, Din Din is done done. So, y'all look how they turned out. Ain't they? Ooh, they look, ooh, hot. Garlic breads. They look garlic bread. Good Kevin, too. Uh, you want two pork chops or one, two? I want this one. My pork chop. Y'all can see. Hey, look. All right, so 
about to show y'all. This is some nice stuff. Kevin's gonna make his own plate. I guess I was trying to make it, but he wanna make his own plate because he's putting cheese in his rice. So, yeah. Just about to make mine. So, move this out of the way. This hot. This is hot, 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 hot. I don't know why I'm trying to do this. Hold on. Yeah, excuse me. But this is the rice. Looks so yummy. Ooh, plate that on my plate. Mm. That rice though, that rice. That's all I'm eating for right now. Y'all, let me show y'all my plate. Right. This is the plate. Looks so good, y'all. I'm gonna give me some hot sauce. I'm gonna give me some hot sauce. <coughs> uh -oh. Y'all, I'm gonna give me some hot sauce real quick. I go wrong with this. Sprinkle this on your. Uh oh, y'all. Sprinkle this on your pork chop. Mm, 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 mm. That's all I need right there. All right, y'all. So I'm done cooking Sunday dinner. That is it, y'all. I'm sad. So I'm going to relax because I still got a little slight hangover from the yesterday. Not even a hangover, but I just feel tired. But I'm about to sit down. Me and Kevin about to watch uh, the new Madea movie, Jasmine's Blues. Y'all, we about to tune into that while we eat our food. And I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Press that bell for post notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload any videos. Give this video a thumbs up, y'all. And always remember, stay blessed and be yourself.